Welcome back, everybody. 743 here on a Monday morning. So people that are living in a historic black community near downtown L.A. are afraid this morning. This after threats of their neighborhood getting destroyed for a metro tunneling project. Yeah, Brooke Thomas is live at Lafayette Square with the latest. Good morning, Brooke. Hey there, good morning. Yes, so uh, the Metro K-Line expansion will add uh, new rail service from Miracle Mile to Hollywood to West Hollywood, and that's a good thing for the city overall, right? Of course it is. The thing is, the people who live here in this neighborhood, this is Lafayette Square, they are worried that their historically predominantly black neighborhood could be sacrificed for the city's future. It keeps us up at night. Just the idea that someone can just come in and sorry I'm sorry why this neighborhood why this black and brown neighborhood this is a historically preserved neighborhood for a reason right there is a lot of history here and it just seems like these are the neighborhoods that are the first to be offered up. Robbie Reed and her neighbor, Lauren Jackson Smith, have been fighting to push LA Metro to change course on the K-Line Northern Extension Plan. The proposed route would tunnel under their historic neighborhood. I immediately think eminent domain, and that may not be the case. We just don't know. Lauren says her grandparents moved to Lafayette Square in the 50s after having to leave what was then L.A.'s Sugar Hill neighborhood when the California Highway Commission approved the 10 freeway. What is now a vital transportation route destroyed Sugar Hill, a once wealthy, hard fought for black neighborhood. Seeing this specific notice regarding Metro's latest plan sent her in a tailspin. It's a concern and I think it's rightfully so because we don't have an understanding of what those words mean. What does easement and acquisition mean? Neighbors here tell me they've learned they'll lose a grocery store, they're going to lose a drug store, which leads them to their biggest concern, that some of them might lose their homes. It's like, okay, this is um, history repeating itself. This sounds like eminent domain to me. Uh, this sounds like it's being described using other words, but we're all somewhat, you know, smart. We can figure that out. If you need something, you go get it, right? We understand that fear. We understand that concern. It's their homes that we're talking about. However, we have no intentions of purchasing any of the properties in that neighborhood, nor are we taking down or demolishing any of the properties in that neighborhood. Metro's Anthony Crump acknowledges the phrase acquisition or easements could cause concern, but he says there's nothing to worry about. The acquisitions that we're talking about are underground easements. So in essence, we'll be building a tunnel underneath the neighborhood, and we need to acquire the right to go underneath that particular neighborhood. That's the only acquisition that we'll be doing in that neighborhood. Crump points to what he calls Metro's strong and long history of safely tunneling underneath neighborhoods, telling me the analysis shows there will be no impact to homes. We recognize that neighborhoods, black and brown neighborhoods in particular, have really suffered in the past under public infrastructure projects, and we're not going to be doing that in this case. And we were, are determined to not repeat those mistakes of the past. Robbie and Lauren are not convinced, telling me they need more proof and assurance as they sit at neighborhood matriarch Ellen Farwell's dining room table. More than anything, this neighborhood is like coming into a lo little oasis. We walked over this neighborhood for years before we bought a house here. It means family. It means just good neighbors. It's some something happens emotionally to people when they turn that corner. This is my generational wealth for my family. When I moved here, it was to have the house in the, na in the family forever, not just an investment to flip. And most of the families here are like that. They've been here for many, many years, many generations, and that's what we want to create. And, you know, as you can see, we're still, even after this conversation and, and multiple meetings these neighbors here have been able to have with the city question and answer sessions, they're still sort of at an impasse. Metro says the project right now, there are no plans to impact homes, giving that guarantee to neighbors. And the neighbors I talked to essentially say they don't believe them. They say they haven't been given information or proof or paperwork that shows them that that's 
even possible with what's being planned. Metro then points back to what they say is their history of other projects that have gone well in other communities. And then, of course, the neighbors push back on that with the history that hasn't gone well just when it comes to different neighborhoods that really don't exist as they once were. So it's a story that we will be following. And I want to show you this. Just we want you to jump in on the conversation. Our Fox LA TikTok page, it's actually fox.la on TikTok. If you look at what's on your screen right now, there's actually a QR code and you can open up your phone and scan that QR code. If you just open up the photo app on your phone, the camera app, you can scan that code. It'll take you right to our Fox LA page. I just talk to you a little bit more, give you a little bit more history into why this neighborhood is so important to the people who live here, to the city overall, and also a little more on the city's response. I'll send things back to you in the studio, Melvin and Jen. I think that with this story too, Brooke, and I think you did a great job of really highlighting the history and the relevance and the importance of the preservation of... Oh, she's gone. Oh, I thought she was still there for a... Oh, there she is. Okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't see you. Yeah, um, yeah I, I think <laughs> that... Um, I think you did a great job of highlighting the history uh, and the legacy of the Sugar Hill community, of the Lafayette Square community, and what it meant by way of access Especially back in the day, a lot of the black movie stars that couldn't live in Beverly Hills or Hancock Park, they lived in those areas. And so there's such a longstanding history of, of uh, tradition and of access that's important to preserve. Yeah, and you know, it's one of the things that uh, all of, you know, just facts really and research have shown us when it comes to economical impact is that one of just like the number one things that really helps when it comes to racial wealth disparity, it's a lack of home ownership in certain communities. And so, you know, you have these people here telling me that they have done everything they can to try and to try and, you know, knock down some of those barriers within their own families and they are understandably worried on the other side you have the city that says as of right now there are no plans to harm them it's just going to be one of those stories that we are absolutely going to follow and again i encourage everyone to go to our fox la TikTok page and join in on the conversation because i've already been looking at some of the comments and it's been it's interesting to see what you know everyone overall um what they think back mm. to you Mm -hmm. All right, Brooke, thank you very much. Appreciate you doing that story for us. You can see the concern Important there in that neighborhood, yes. especially given the history. That's it's right. like words are just words until they're backed up by actions. They need concrete proof that this part. is not going to happen to their home. That part, right? Sure. You can say, you can say, but, you know, it's... Uh, when it comes down to it. Where's the action? Right. Yeah, and what, mm -hmm. what, what are we really talking about? And you're not presenting me with anything, so naturally you understand why the community has great of concern course. about this, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And All I'm right. sure we will continue to follow that story very, very closely.